Tomorrow marks the one-year anniversary of the deadly flooding in West Virginia. The flood and its aftermath were hard for many West Virginians to understand. That's especially true for children. WSLS 10's Allison Wickline talked to one little boy living in the western end of Greenbrier County about the impact the historic event had on him. The first place we stayed was right there. 10 year old Gunnar Ward is still haunted by the memories of the June 2016 flood that hit his hometown of Raynell. A 10 year old boy that saw more than any child deserves to see. I think I woke up at like six or seven and it just kept on pouring and pouring the rain and we got like a little bit of a break, but not much. Diagonal from that. That's where we stayed. When the water started rising, Gunner and his family went into survival mode, ending up on a hill across the neighborhood where they were protected from the rain, but not from the visions of a house they loved being filled with flood waters. It was just really scary and I didn't really like it and I cried a little bit. Through the eyes of a child, a deadly and devastating flood is hard to understand. An act of mother nature that is the stuff of nightmares. I really never thought that it would really come because there were used there was another flood be before and I never thought that it would hit my house, but it actually did. And while one year has passed and the ward house that was once flooded is clear and clean, the fear of more flooding won't go away. When it rains hard, I sometimes like panic and when the creeks get high, I panic sometimes. But even at 10 years old, Gunner can recognize the miracle of his family's survival. We didn't have to get touched by no water and we were all safe and I was glad about that. A 10 year old wise beyond his years, a 10 year old that felt more fear than anyone ever should. A 10 year old that conquered the flood with the help of his family. I just know that my parents would keep me really safe. In Raynell, Allison Wickline, WSLS 10. While many flood survivors had to move to new homes, Gunner and his family were able to stay put. Within the past year, they have redone the house from top to bottom, and Gunner says it almost feels like home again.